Hello guys, welcome to the channel. This is Sonora Design, and guess what? Today is gonna be the best day ever. Why? Because we're building speakers. Well, my name is Bernardo and I love making speakers and other cool stuff that I find in the way. I fix things, I remodel my cars, I fix more things and I remodel my cars. So today I'm gonna to talk about this little project that I started. I needed test speakers in the shop, something small, compact, cheap that I could carry everywhere and test my amplifiers and turntables, preamps and whatever I have in a shop, whatever I'm working on right now. So the idea was to get scrap material that I had in shop, like MDF and hardwood, small pieces that I had, and drivers that I had sitting in the shop for a while. Things that I bought like with time and I thought I was gonna use or test someday, but I never did. So if you're like me and you have all those parts, it's time to get them together, combine them and build something really cool. Those are the scrap speakers. They're small, they're cheap. Those are made with scrap material, whatever you have hanging out in the shop. Just use it, just repurpose and save some money. So what I have here is one of the speakers. I'm gonna show you that I did a space plate with walnut. The body is all made of MDF, primed and painted. I got the connectors on the back and ports. The drivers I use, uh, they were sitting here forever. I bought them on Alibaba. You can find them at Alibaba, maybe eBay, maybe Amazon. I don't think they still have them there, but I might post a link on the description so you can find those same drivers. Those are three inch uh, full range drivers from China, <laughs> like all of them. So the thing is, I really wanted to test those full ranges. I'm all about full ranges, I love it. And I appreciate the capacity they have to play bass and highs at the same time in the same driver. The thing is how well they play that, you know? I mean, you have all kinds of full range drivers in the market then. Today, they range from like 25 bucks to thousands of dollars. And for sure, if you buy the thousand dollar one, it's gonna sound better. The thing is for them to perform well, they need a well-made calculated enclosure. So I added a port here. It's a bass reflex. With this design, you can pretty much like tune the frequency you want, the low frequency. I mean, it's limited because the driver is so small. So the amount of bass you're gonna get, it's usually uh, proportional to the size of your enclosure and the size of your driver, right? The bigger the driver, the more bass you can get out of it, you know? So it was really challenging to get some kind of bass out of those speakers. And I'm really happy with the results. It gets better and better every time I hear them. The cabinet's all made of MDF. It's all glued because I wanted to round the edges so there are no nails, there are no screws. The front plate's glued as well. I don't know when screws show you on the, on the front. The driver's made of paper and suspension's made of rubber, if you can see the cone. It's not that powerful, I gotta say that, but it sounds really good for the size. The cabinets are 4.3 liters. I uh, used those, par those parts from Parts Express. It's a great source of everything you need for your do-it-yourself designs at home. All kinds of like drivers and accessories, amplifiers, Bluetooth boards, and whatever. Ports are five inches long by one and three quarters wide. It's a pretty simple design, small project that anyone can make. I think it's an attractive design, simple, compact, light, easy to store. You can take it everywhere. I mean, inside, outside, inside, outside, inside, outside, and test your stuff. It works great 
for my application. You know, you can use it as monitors from your computer, your bedroom, you can use it as bookshelves, library, small living room. I mean, you can build that with basic tools, uh, preferably a table saw or a circular saw, not like a jigsaw, but I mean, if you have the basics, you can pretty much build those speakers in a day. Gotta wait for it to dry though. So maybe a little bit over a day. <laughs> On this channel, I'm gonna be showing all the things I design, develop, sketched, and built. So step by step, you guys can get all the information you need or learn something new. Hopefully, I would ask of you guys to just post down here below what you guys are interested in. Give me some feedback, whatever you guys wanna see in the channel. Uh, all kinds of things, woodworking, some metal work, speakers, turntables, Bluetooth speakers, wireless speakers, whatever, woodworking, carpentry, <laughs> just ask me. I would just like to ask you to smash the like button right now. I'm gonna give you some time to do that. If you enjoy the content, if you learn something, or if you just 
but uh, give us the thumbs up. All right. Thank you so much for watching and hope to see you guys soon.